Hey there, today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly and easily wipe your personal data from your car's navigation screen when selling or trading a vehicle. Now this process should be very similar in all makes and models. However, today we're gonna to be using a newer Hyundai head unit. So if you guys have a newer Hyundai or Kia head unit, this process should be almost exactly identical. Now obviously the main reason to wipe personal data from a car's infotainment screen is for privacy reasons. Now many cars these days have built-in navigation systems, which means it tracks personal data as to recent destinations and if you have saved any work or home addresses, these will all be saved on board on the infotainment system. So as you can see from this Sonata here, we have previously saved home and work addresses as well as a previous destination list, which I assume some of these addresses may come from the previous owner. So obviously you can go in and clear each one one by one here on the previous destinations list, but I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to wipe the entire infotainment system to as it were from the factory. So the first thing you wanna do here in this Hyundai is go to setup, and then you want to go to general, and you want to scroll down here on the left side to system info, and there will be a reset button. Now this will go ahead and reset to all factory defaults, and as you can see, all stored data and settings will be deleted, which is the goal of this reset. So go ahead and hit yes. And as you can tell, some FM static comes on, which means it reset all of the radio presets. So now if we go back to navigation, we can see that there are no previous destinations listed in the address book, which is good, which means it erased all that data. Now in terms of resetting the Bluetooth pairing connections, we first need to go to setup, go to device connections, and at the bottom there will be a reset. Now this will reset all of the Bluetooth settings, including the connections, so I'll go ahead and reset that. And as you can see, it just completed resetting, so we'll go back to connections, and you can see it erases all the Bluetooth connections. So that is the quick and simple way to reset the car to factory defaults for both the navigation and Bluetooth connections. Now, if you wanna go one step further and reset all the vehicle settings, which is just all the settings that were kind of personalized to the previous owner's tastes, including some of these uh, lights, door, uh, climate settings, everything like that, if you want to reset that, you can go ahead and go scroll down all the way on the left side here and there'll be a reset key under vehicle settings. So we can go ahead and hit reset and I'll reset all the vehicle settings to the factory defaults. So again, this is like it's coming out of the factory, brand new, and you can go ahead and personalize everything here on the infotainment screen to your personal needs. And one other thing that's neat about the recent Hyundai navigation systems is that you can also export and import contact information from the address book. So before you go ahead and erase all that data, there's actually a way that you can go ahead and save it to a USB drive. So first you wanna go ahead to setup, you wanna to go to advanced, you wanna scroll down here on the left side and go to my data. And right here, it gives you the option to import and export from USB device. And say in the future, you get a car that allows you to import this data into the head unit itself. This gives you an easy way to do so. So hopefully you found this video helpful in erasing your personal data from your car's infotainment screen. And if you did find this video helpful, please hit that like button. Also leave any comments, questions, or suggestions down in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to read every single one of them. And if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and checking out some of the other content on the channel. And with all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.